The first time I walked into an Aikido dojo when I was a student at Boston University, I was totally amazed. I thought to myself, I'll never be able to do that, even though I'd been doing martial arts since I was five years old. It was something completely different. No punching, no kicking, mind blowing. I was intrigued and I decided to give it a go. It wasn't easy, but little by little, I learned the falls, the rolls, the attacks. Then I realized the power of the power to let power defeat itself, the techniques. Everything has a technique. You wanna get good at golf? There's a technique to the swing. If you wanna be a great swimmer, there's a technique to the stroke. Or even a great investor, there's a technique for that too. Everything has its unique technique, and Aikido is no different. Learning the technique is a phase, because actually they're all very simple and easy to understand. Which, by the way, is what makes them so difficult to grasp. Unfortunately, there are no shortcuts to attain good technique. I recently read two books, Talent is Overrated, which I've done a book review of, check the link above, and Grit. Both books highlight the value of time and deliberate, endless practice to become really good at something. That's the hard part. How many people do you know that are really, really good at something? Yodeling. And it can be anything, even yodeling. We're all so distracted and our attention is so divided that it's not easy to be really good at something. If it takes 10,000 hours of dedicated practice to get really good at something, and you spend on average three hours a week doing it, then you'll probably be great at it in 64 years. Okay, let's say you double that and spend six hours a week or one hour a day, six days a week. It'll take you 32 years. Let's double that and spend 12 hours a week, two hours a day, six days a week. It'll still take 16 years. That's a pretty long time. And even if we did it four hours a day, six days a week, it'll still take eight years. Wait, hold on a second. You're at work eight hours a day, five days a week. If you're really passionate about your work, and put in your full deliberate attention, you'll become a master in it in just under five years. Why are you wasting your time? Did you know that in America it takes five years to get your black belt? While I was in Japan, I would normally train every day and usually between three to five hours per day. It was grueling. I'd normally weigh in before and after practice and I would literally drop 10 pounds after a typical day of training. Okay, so let's get back to technique because that's a very important part of getting good, right? Learning the correct technique and then practicing that technique over and over and over again for years. How do you learn that technique? Who's gonna teach you that technique? And are you sure you're learning the correct technique? This is where the teacher-apprentice relationship originated from. You wanna to learn to become the best stock investor in the world? then the best thing to do is to learn from the best stock investor in the world. I would love to meet Warren Buffett and learn how to pick and invest in stocks from him. I'm actually studying a book written by his daughter that's called Value Investing the Warren Buffett Way, the Buffettology workbook. Maybe some of that knowledge will rub off on me. But reading a book and learning on your own is like walking in a dark room with your eyes closed hoping not to trip and fall. I wanted to get really good at Aikido, and I mean really, really good. So what did I do? I moved to Japan to search for the most skilled Aikido practitioners I could find. I successfully found someone and became his apprentice. I learned from him every chance I could for over seven years. And when I moved back to Houston, I brought him here two to three times a year to continue learning from him. I paid the price to become good. And I put in the hours and hours of deliberate practice to master the simple techniques of Aikido. You know that saying, the grass is always greener on the other side? Well, it is until you start taking care of your own lawn. What are you doing right now? And build on that. Don't just give up and try something new because you think you're not good at it. That's where grit comes in. Remember that book I told you I read? Maybe you started doing real estate and lost money and want to quit. Don't. You just learn how not to do it the next time. Get back in the game and keep learning, perfecting, and becoming better until your deals start to turn a profit. I remember hearing the story of a man that made a mistake in his company and lost the company several hundreds of thousands of dollars. So the owner was asked if he was going to fire him. And he looked back and said, 
If I fire him, that'll be a huge loss to my company because I just paid several hundreds of thousands of dollars for this man to learn what not to do. If you haven't seen my film, The Path to Success is Paid with Failure, please check it out. There should be a link above that will bookmark it for you so that you can watch it after this one finishes. If you're interested in learning how to focus on technique and apply that into your daily life through the practice of Aikido, please come out and try a class. Visit my website for more information. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. I would love to hear how you've dedicated your time and deliberate practice in mastering a technique. Please comment below. And don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified on future uploads.